I got this Arsenal shiny badge yesterday and I've completed the whole page. But I had to give Max Wheatley from my class five stickers and three shinies though. Oh, you've let yourself down there, Ben. You should have threatened him with violence instead next time. <laughs> Seriously, you, you won't get in trouble. It's very hard to prove a threat if you do it when no one's around. How are my two favourite boys doing? I need to pee. Okay, sweetheart. Hmm. Favourite boy, eh? It's only been three dates. I, uh, I should warn you. Uh, my voice tends to grate after a month or so. Well, I'm not gonna lie. It started to a little bit already. But I can look past it. You're really good with him. He's a sweet kid. Besides, I have to like him because... And I'm gonna warn you... I'm going to get a bit mushy here, so just brace yourself. Consider me braced. That's good. I like you. A lot. This, this feels... You're so embarrassed you don't have to say it. Special. That's so <laughs> awkward, it's unbelievable. So... This is an interesting piece. <laughs> an interesting piece? You are so full of shit. I'll have you know I'm actually rather cultured, pal. I watch Bargain Hunt most days. Well, if you must know, it's Polish. It's been in my family for generations. I have this Jewish great grandmother who took it out of Poland with her when the Germans invaded. I don't think it's worth much, but it's sentimental. We've only just been able to put it out. She passed a year ago. My parents would be distraught if anything happened to it. And Ben, while well, he went through this weird phase where he had this compulsion to break things. What? So he's like a vandal? No! It's not like that. It's difficult. He had therapy. There's no exact... Or they looked into OCD, displacement issues, but it's fine now. No issues for nine months. That's, uh... Tough. Yeah, I thought I'd bail you out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, it's work. I have to take this. Come on. Let's play indoor football. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Ready for the long shot. You... you broke it. Shit. I can't believe what I just did. I told you indoor football was a stupid idea. I didn't see why it always had to be you. Well, I, I don't mean, really what? have a choice. Oh. God. What happened? He did it. What? No, I didn't. I, I honest. It was him. Come it on. It was him. Come on, then. Honest. We were playing football, and he said he was going to recreate a volley by Paolo Di Canio. Never even heard of him. He's lying. I threw the ball to him, and he kicked it, and in all of us. Just making stuff up. Is that what happened? Uh. Uh. This is awkward. Uh. The truth is, he came in and asked to play football. I told him no. And then he went mental and picked up the vase and said, if you don't, I'll smash this. No, and I didn't. He, there it is. How could you after all we've been through? I can't believe you! Perhaps I should have uh, humoured him a bit and knocked it around a little. But... You bastard! That's enough! I That's hate enough. you! No, Ben! No! <laughs> ben! I am so sorry. 
Me too. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It, it's fine. I, I, I feel terrible for him, really. No, no, it's not your fault. Look, sadly, it's not consistent with his old behaviour. Oh, that work. Seems it was all in vain. Look, thank you for being so understanding. I am so embarrassed. Thank you for being so sweet. It's really nice to finally find someone. No, look, you apologize now. No, I won't. It was him. I fucking hate you. Ben, that's <laughs> enough. That's enough. It has been three days since 10-year-old Benjamin Peterson disappeared and the local people in the small town of Didcot have been out in force helping with the search. But amid new reports, uh, it is now feared that Benjamin may have been abducted after a boy fitting his description was seen getting into a blue BMW. Benjamin is believed to have run away from home after his parents said that he was very upset when he broke what they claim to be a sacred family heirloom. I'm told that the search will continue uh, into the night and uh, for the foreseeable future. And any further updates, uh, we will report back to you as soon as possible. Uh, any news? I'm oh, sorry, we're doing everything we can. We've wind our search, have I have some members of the family here. Um... Danny, I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, uh, hold that thought. Go on. Danny. Oh, I, I, all right, I, I, what's this even going to achieve? Who is she, Danny? Look, either you tell them or I will. Tell us what? Okay, uh, look, the, the vase. I broke it. <gasps> oh, you're right, that's actually a huge weight off my- You bastard! You cold-hearted, cowardly bastard! Sorry, I, I, I- If it's any consolation, I feel pretty bad. So you lied? What kind of person does that? Blame something on an innocent little boy just to, to get themselves out of trouble? We didn't believe him. Yeah. He said it was you. He insisted. I panicked and... Uh, um... I said he'd to go back into therapy. He was crushed. You're sick. I told you about all him and all his issues. His compulsion to break things. His OCD displacement and all that. You even used it in your favour. He insisted it was you. And what did you say? What did you say? I don't remember. He has a track record. That's what you said. He has a track record. You. 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 F oh God. Stop. That was a bit strong. First time she sworn in 30 years and for good reason. You repulsive little man. If you just owned up, been a man about it, then we wouldn't have been so hard on him. And he run, run away into the arms of some... No, Mum, it's so safe. Into the arms of some paedophile. <laughs> you had our son taken away by some child molester. What? You, how could I predict that? So, so I lied a little, but he just said it. You, 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 you were too hard on him. You, 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 you both just sat there and you calm down. <laughs> you bastard! You horrible bastard! Come on, calm down, Mr. Peterson. I swear, if anything happens to him, I'll kill you. I'll. 
Fucking kill you! Well, with all due respect, it wasn't me that threatened him with boarding school. I, I think we should How just... How could you? You know how I feel about you. I, 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 breaking an important family heirloom wasn't exactly going to win me any favours, and the thought of it all ending over something like that scared me. If you think about it, in a way, it, 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 it's, it's kind of sweet. What I did to, to protect what... Sweet? You think it's fucking sweet? In a way. Right, I think we should go. Is there any way this will affect the if investigation? If anything happens to him, it's on you. It's not though, is it? I couldn't foresee any of this, and, and, and personally, I don't think I should... Be... Look, I... I'm sorry about all that. I. I... I regret my actions. If only Ben could hear that. Well, maybe he can. What? Well, uh, maybe Ben's hiding because he's afraid of coming home because he'll get into trouble. Now, if we could get the message to him that he's not, that, then maybe he'll come home. Like, if we broadcast it on the news or something? Yeah, on the news. If, uh, if Danny were to make an appeal on the news, maybe he'd come home. No, 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 hold on, I don't like the sound of this. this... Well, would that make a difference? I feel an appeal would aid the investigation. It could be to our advantage if Danny was to reassure him that... No, no, was... no, 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 I don't... I can't! What do you mean, I can't? What? I have to protect my reputation. I assume it's over between us, right? Any chance? Okay. We, we live in a tiny area. Everyone knows everyone kind of place. If, if I go on the news and admit that, what will people think of me? I'll probably be ostracised by society. And remain single. Well, then, then think about what my clients at work will think. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Look, you've you've already been on the news and appealed and said you're not angry, and that's done nothing. And and and, and what about the, the the reports of him getting into a blue BMW? They sounded pretty conclusive to me. Look, if, if that hadn't happened, then, then sure, I would, I would go on the news, but... But what? For lack of a better term, why shoot myself in the foot? Why take a bullet if I don't have to? And let everyone know you're a spineless coward. And that. Look, I, I think he, he got in that car, so me going on the news and admitting to my character being flawed will only create two victims. Two victims? Yeah. Me and him. Jeez. You really are a piece of work. Really, you need to look in the mirror and, and accept some of the... No, no, the, the lion's share of the blame. How dare you? If you hadn't have been here, none of this would have happened. Honestly, he, he went mental. I witnessed it. He went absolutely batshit crazy mental. He, he was all like, that's it, we're done with you. You're, you're going back to boarding school and you can forget about Disneyland as well. He didn't say anything about Disneyland. Whatever. He... Look, I'm sorry I didn't own up to it, but 
I'm being made a scapegoat here. As I said, if I go on the news, I'll just be another victim. Make it sound like he's come to harm. Well, it's not looking good, is it? But, but, but he might not be dead. Uh, perhaps he's been... Uh, ended up in some kind of... I don't know... Illegal child prostitution ring or something. Oh. <laughs> well, don't look at me like that. I'm, 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 I'm thinking of viable scenarios here. I've... I've I've, I've, I've seen these stories of, of damaged kids ending up in the sex trade. Ooh, you you looking into that? Looking at a number of leads. But an appeal from you would help the investigation, help us close another avenue. But come on now, like, be honest. The, there isn't another unknown boy getting into an unidentified car, right? So, you're not going to do it? No. Oh. Do you even feel an ounce of guilt? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Only because I made you. And that's only because I overheard you on the phone. And what if she hadn't forced you? Hang on, who are you even talking with about all this? Jace, I, I felt bad. Which shows I have an ounce of guilt, actually. And he told you to stay quiet? No, he, he he said I should come clean, but I, I, I didn't... But you thought better of it. Do you think he should do it? Sorry? Do you think that Danny should go on the news and appeal for Ben to come home? Well, I... No. Probably not. What? You can't mean that, surely? Well, like he said, it's probably not going to help. I have to agree. I've seen the reports. And he has a good job. He has to think about his future and how he's perceived. Thank you! How do you sleep at night? You're vermin! Again, boarding school and therapy. You're the ones who chased him off under the arms of some... Arms of some child rapist. That's nice. We've, uh, we found a body. Oh. Oh, my God. No. I should probably go. Sorry for your loss. He, he might not be dead. Why don't you just make the appeal? You're not looking for any other kids, are you? I'd assume there's a 99% chance that's him. <laughs> <laughs>